Welcome to another video. Oh, you're seeing this like suit. You're like, what? This is not the classic suit, but this is the first suit. However, I have an important message. Merry Christmas. I go, oh, I have a, what do you mean Merry Christmas? Well, it's Merry Christmas for us Serbian people. So Merry Christmas if you happen to be Serbian, eh? <laughs> Let's celebrate. Otherwise, you know, happy holidays. Um, if you don't celebrate, um, anyways, so I wanted to add 10 classic suits into Marvel Spider-Man PC because I thought, you know, let's do it because these suits are some of the best suits of all time. And you can't argue with that because this is the classic suit, man. It's, it's where he started. It's just, you know, there's just so many different interpretations of the classic suit. And that's another thing that makes it so great. So I've compiled 10 mods that I want to show you guys. So the first one is one of the most iconic suits and it's the first suit of, you know, Spider-Man's in his first appearance, right? This is the amazing fantasy suit, right? And this is by Agrafer. Now the difference with this fantasy suit is it's not a comic style. It's made to look like it's, you know, real. So it's like an insomniac style, but at the same time, it's incredible so you'll see what i mean here i'm going to turn on a sort of light if that even like you know works properly why did it why did the light spawn behind them i will not understand that that is so weird but let's not worry about that so check this out when you look at it there's like little like little stitching here around like the seams the webs are really nice you've got that sort of pattern there the eyes look great. Like the suit overall is absolutely incredible. And you can even see it here. Like you can see the sort of stitching and things. The detail on this suit is insane. Like when I downloaded it in the zip pile, it was like zip, zip pile. What the hell? Zip file. It was 600 megabytes and that was it zipped up. So this tells you that this suit is incredibly detailed and the details do not disappoint. Like seriously, the details do not disappoint at all. Then you look at it back here you can see some of the suit wrinkles as well like the detail is incredible as well and you can see like the shoes the shoe bits at the bottom right so i absolutely love this suit you can obviously see the web shooter there but the suit is beautiful i'm using the original variation there's two right there's the one with the red spider and i like the blue spider version because that's original and then you can see this sort of zip back here as well like how cool is that, dude? That is such an awesome detail. And of course, you also have like a zip that goes down here. So it's it just screams homemade, realistic, classic suit, right? And of course, you've got the web wings there too, right? Like the suit is just... Like, look at this shot, dude. That is incredible. And yeah, I'm using a reshade. This is what it looks like without it. And this is with it. And I'm just stuck to using this reshade. It's my favorite. And I want to swing around with this suit a little bit for you guys. So... Let's just, let's just enjoy that. Let's just enjoy the suit. So, look at the web wings, bro. Like, the... Dude, that is incredible. And it looks so nice with this. Like, it, this is just the first shoot. I'm, I, I'm so excited I can't talk, bro. That's crazy. This is the first suit that I'm showing, guys. And you can even see more details as we go. So, you can see, like, wrinkles around the neck area as well. And the suit is just so detailed, bro. Like, I could go on and on about the details. The eyes are reflective. I absolutely love this type of lens on the suit as well. The webs, the patterns and everything are just wonderful. And yes, I did not ignore the front logo. This is where it started. And I absolutely love this logo. This is exactly where it started. And I will never roast the starting suit ever. So... Let's go, let's swing around a little bit with it. So I'm using MCU swinging, mainly for the fact that it has the glide thing, which I thought would work really well with this specific suit, because I had it in mind, you know? It is such a damn awesome thing that the community does here, like the budding community is absolutely crazy, because if you think about it, they're keeping Marvel Spider-Man on PC alive, but bringing all of these insane mods as actual, just free DLC, because that's what it is. It's just free DLC, a lot of people you know, would beg to differ, but with this amount of quality on a suit, like, I dare say this is, like, quite literally Insomniac level quality, or hell, maybe even more so, because look at that, that is insanity, like, the way this game has been transformed, right, is crazy, like, different sky, um, just a bunch of different things, like, light boxes, suits, reshades, it's crazy, so, you know, 
That was the amazing fantasy suit by Agrofro, and then we're gonna go to the next Agrofro suit actually. And this one changes quite something. So you all remember this suit, right? Like the suit that you start off with, the classic suit, right? Well, Agro has decided to make a suit that sort of enhanced, and this is for zero. So I assume this was a commission. So this changes the classic suit, you know, into a more enhanced version. And I will already tell you, I love this damn suit so much, dude. It is perfect to me. Like, this is incredible. And of course, you know, Agrofro's work is insane. Like, I will not ever say that isn't the case. Like, already look at the details here so the actual spider emblem has been changed it's kind of slightly more reshaped and i guess a bit bigger and the blue the the fabrics and patterns have been changed here as well um it is just so crazy the eyes are bigger as well like i change back and forth but the amount of suits i have to go through i can just like pull up some screenshots from the actual original page um, that show all the differences, but you can see it for yourself if you use the classic suit. Like the amount of details here are insane, and of course the web shooters have been changed as well to be like more classic, or rather like you could see here how it connects to the web shooter, right? And you got the little trigger there. It is cool. And then on the back, they've actually changed the logo to be more of a classic one, right? Like way more sort of classicy feeling. And you've got some more seams here and things and lines. It is just an amazing suit and the wrinkles and the details are absolutely crazy so it is an amazing looking suit and <laughs> damn i always get blown away when the lenses do all this reflections like you could see his hand like reflecting in his lens like is that not crazy like that is nuts bro so this suit damn man i highly recommend you download every single one of these classic suits for yourself because i mean there's a reason why i made a pack i was waiting for more classic suits to come out because I always want to do a pack, like if there was like, I've done a symbiote one, I've done movie packs, a bunch of different things. Because sometimes I like compiling suits instead of showing off one by one. Or adding like a, a ridiculous number, like 50 or 60 suits, which is pretty funny <laughs> sometimes. Because then you run out of suits and you're like, oh damn. <clears throat> so, yeah, this is the classic enhanced suit. And it looks incredible. Like I said, this is probably commissioned by Zero. And I think Zara has done a great commission <clears throat> with this because look at that. That is nuts. So, on to the next suit, which is actually going to end up being another classic suit. Surprise, right? But this is the Bagley's 90s suit. So, I love the comic suits. It's crazy when these get, you know, modded and brought into the game because it is such a treat to have suits like this, bro. Like, it genuinely is. So, this time i'm going to try get the suit in sunlight before i show it off so here it is this is the bagley's 90 suit first of all it is not just like a comic suit you know comic looking suit it's actually fully remade in the sort of marvel spider-man style but keeping everything intact all the little details that make the classic suit classic so you got the big giant lenses god damn that goes hard you got that emblem and you've got like the spider webs that stop there. I actually really like that when the webs stop for the logo or they kind of just like leave a little bit of a space there. I always love that. You've got the pattern that kind of feels amazing Spider-Man-ish. Looks incredible. Of course, I love the blend of the colors as well. Um, and then you've got the back emblem here that looks wonderful. I mean, dude, this suit is just incredible, like genuinely amazing. So, it's just awesome that, like, if you like classic suits, you can just choose what you want, right? You can just choose whatever classic suit you want to play with. You don't have to play with the Insomniac one, which I'm not saying is bad, because it's not. But <laughs> the choices that mods give us is just awesome. So, yeah, I'm going to move on to the next suit. We're going to get this car chase done, and this is the Chichoto classic suit. I think I pronounced that right. Can't really remember, but this is another iconic comic suit, and it's gorgeous. All right, let's smack this guy out of the way. Okay, come on. I need to show off this suit, my boy, and you're, you're stopping me from doing it. Oh. Now you get out of here. <laughs> and then let's get this guy out of the suit. I mean, not out of the suit, out of the car. Oh, that, that shot right there, though. Damn. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is crazy. I'm probably going to drop the car though. No! Yep. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. But that's okay. Alright. Anyways. Spider-Man may have dropped the car. Oh, there is more? I thought we stopped it. Wow, that was so weird. Well. Whoo, go hard, my boy. Ow, or just get punched in the face. Why not? Alright, come on. We be doing this for real right now. Oh. Damn. Spidey. Okay, that doesn't help that I just got shot, but... Alright, come on. Get this guy out of here. If I could just web him to the ground. What? That, that guy. That kind of worked. And then we'll take him down. Oh, ho, ho, ho. dude. Doing this with this suit goes hard. <laughs> that is great. But alright, like let's let's keep it moving. Alright. There we go. Get some sunlight in. And let's examine the suit, shall we? So first of all, the main thing, or one of the biggest things that stands out is the eyes. The eyes are more sharp and pointy. But this spider emblem, I don't know how many of you guys know about this one. This is one of the more iconic emblems, at least for me. I remember seeing this all the time and it being one of my favorites back in the day. And this is just, just an incredible suit all around. So there's not really like those crazy patterns here. It's like a tiny little, you know, I guess pattern here that works really well with it. And it's a great take on the classic suit. That back emblem is also great. It's just a great overall suit. Like, there's not really much I could say about it, but it just looks wonderful. And of course, the web lines as well are a bit different, but it's a very, very iconic design, right? So let's let's carry on to the next suit, shall we? Which is going to end up being the Delotto Classic suit, right? So I think if the Delotto Classic suit um, isn't... Mm -mm, and you can feel free to correct me on this, but isn't this a part of... The, I'm trying to get a good bit to, like, um, pause on, which is really, <laughs> it was really hard to for some weird reason, but isn't this a form of the uh, Web of Shadow suits, if I'm not mistaken, or the concept art suits for Spider-Man? Because um, I, I know, like, I'm pretty sure Delato did, like, the classic um, suit designs and things for that, because this looks amazing, or it might be a bit of a different suit, actually, than the Web of Shadow one, I think, but the, the point is, the lenses are so pointy, it's crazy. And this is just like, just the way it looks in the comics. And then, at least, in, not in the comics, I mean in the actual art. And, you know, you've got the pattern here looking all nice. It's like, you have to like zoom in real hard to see what it is. But like, you've got a bit of a, I don't even know what kind of shape that is. But it, it, it all works really well, it meshes. It's not like crazy. And this like, emblem here looks awesome, because it like, stands out right like it pops out so just drawn on um and then the back emblem is exactly what you'd expect it's a damn damn good suit man what can i say right and then we're going to move on to the next one again which is going to be the edge of time suit one of my personal favorites and like with the other suit the edge of time suit is also like fully redesigned it's not just an import from the game which is mind-blowing to say the least when that kind of stuff <laughs> is the case because you're like damn you really put in the work and dude this right here is nuts do you see like the lights like how it you could sort of see it bounce like damn ray tracing is crazy but wow the suit actually gets kind of blinded <laughs> like the sunlight kind of destroys the suit crazy but all right let's stop here and then i'll show you the details because i've shown the suit before but so, you can see the patterns here are nice, right? The patterns are great, first of all. But let's talk about that iconic webbing. How it doesn't sort of have a specific pattern. It's messy. And I love messy webbing. And I think it should get brought back sometimes. The eyes are reflective, as always. That's another favorite thing. This emblem here is so cool. It's like a very pointy. And I absolutely adore that. You can even see like little bits where it kind of stops the... Uh, rest of the webbing there. So the pattern here again is very amazing Spider-Man-esque which I think works with this suit and it is just a damn good suit. The belt, I feel, it feels extra pointy. I don't know if it's because of the webs or what but I just adore this suit so damn much. It's one of my all-time favorites and of course you got that big thick logo in the back that just 
works really damn well with this suit. I wonder how it would be reimagining this emblem with like a version of this one, but maybe flipped upside down. I feel like that would look just as just as good. I don't know. I feel like commissioning like a really like a version of my own sort of just like Spider-Man classic suit as like an alternate suit for my Spidey or something. I don't know. I mean, it's a funny concept having a classic Spidey suit be an alternate suit for a Spidey. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. But the suit is damn good. It always good. See, even that lady was like, look, a good Spidey. And yeah, he really does. And now we got a realistic into the Spider-Verse suit, which I didn't think I'd be seeing. But there it is. So this is a take on the Into the Spider-Verse suit, having it be looking realistic. So think of this as maybe if like Peter B. Parker stepped into real life or something like that, right? <laughs> the emblem and everything goes hard. And of course it is redesigned. It's not just like, you know, straight up taken or something because you know, you've got this different fabrics here, different patterns, and it all sort of meshes well. Now the biggest change here is the eyes, and I actually think this works really well. It's a bit different to look at, at least for me, I was like, damn, wait, hold on. But it works more and more the more I look at the actual suit. And then you go to the back, and you know, you got that good old classic logo. I mean, it is the classic suit, right? But I love the webs, like kind of stops here, and I still like that bit of the like sort of design how it's like not taking itself way too seriously to like be connected in every single bit of the suit i think that the in, into the spider verse like classic suit is an absolute treat and wonderful and i'm just so glad to be able to see cool suits like this and yeah man <laughs> this is so cool so let's move on to the next suit as well i don't want to like spend 10 years on each individual suit which is going to be the mcfarland classic suit I actually got a figure of this it is a damn sick figure that my fiance got for me and i'm gonna get into a better light source here to be able to show this off damn i always get a nice cool pose to show it off so you can tell it's the mcfarland suit first of all because of that damn classic like the damn classic lenses man they go hard dude um that iconic spider emblem too this is a bit of a different sort of like I don't know it's like got that shader like is it a shader is it just like a different sort of pattern or something but it feels it feels damn good looking at the suit i'm gonna tell you that much i love this sort of crazy like over the top lenses like it is such a cool take on the lenses man it is so cool and then you know you got the classic emblem there you know it's just the classic suit but redesigned like what more can i tell like that's what all of these suits are right <laughs> And then we have the superior classic suit, which is very different compared to all of these because like I guess superior just wanted to make himself different So he made his first sort of suit here You could see like his eyes kind of bulge out and that is a bit like jarring to me Like I, I do like this suit, you get me wrong, but it's a bit jarring and again This is redesigned in the insomniac suit, but it keeps everything intact, right? So it's already armored and everything like that. You've got more sharp like fingers there um, or nails that he put on the suit, which is crazy, right? And then he's got like this weird like toe feet thing going. Oh, I don't know, man. That kind of makes me uncomfortable <laughs> to look at. But I don't know, man. Superior just had his own sort of style that he was going for. And then this emblem is interesting. I will be honest. I'm not really a fan of it. I don't know. It's just it just. It's just too round. It's like a circle with some little tiny spikes poking out of it. But the rest of the suit, like this emblem here, is awesome. I genuinely dig that and like the actual like fabrics and patterns. So I'm pretty sure, like I said, this is actually armored. Because I think Peter tried to get his body back and it failed. So yeah, amazing suit, dude. Like for real. <laughs> um, and then the final suit here is the ultimate classic suit, which is taken from... I'm pretty sure Shattered Dimensions and Redone, um, keeping all the details and things, and I adore it. Um, you know, that is just so crazy to look at, because the details are all still there. And it's an absolute treat, this suit. I love Ultimate Spider-Man, and I will always take more of him. It's kind of a shame, though, because I don't think he exists anymore, because his universe got, like, destroyed, I guess. But this guy was immortal, dude. That's the crazy part. So, you can see his emblem there is damn cool. He's got those, like, iconic giant lenses. 
and that back emblem is a bit different but damn it's it's just a big ass back spider which looks great i i like when the like even though it kind of looks like a tick when it's more defined i always appreciate that so yeah i hope you guys liked my choice for 10 classic suits as a pack i hope you guys enjoy all of them links in the description thank you so much for your support you are absolutely the best hope you have a wonderful day take care of yourselves check out another video peace